Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every Halloween update ever in MM2. There have now been 10 Halloween updates from 2015 to 2024, and today I'm going to be ranking all 10. See how let's begin. Alright, so coming easily in last place is Halloween 2016. This is one of the worst updates ever in MM2. All it did was add in some Halloween decorations to the lobby, and there was a box uh, with a golly in it, and the golly being a hollow's edge. Uh, the normal items in the box, like scratch or bats, uh, are pretty cool, but Hollow's Edge is a whatever golly in my opinion, and this update basically added nothing, so it comes in a last place. Next up at number 9, didn't really have much content to it, just like 2016, uh, but it's a lot better, and that is 2015. This update added a bingo system, which was basically daily challenges, uh, but in the form of bingo, which is a pretty cool feature that sort of was brought back uh, in the Easter update. This event also introduced the MM2 lobby that would be uh, in the game for two years, as well as uh, the weapons of this update being great. Web is really cool, and Jack is one of the coolest items in the game in my opinion, and I think Spider is a pretty good godly. So while this event didn't add a whole lot, what it did add was great, so overall it was a very solid update, especially for being almost 10 years old. Coming in at number 8 is Halloween 2017. This update added a new box. Uh, with the golly being pumpkin, uh, and it actually did a pretty interesting system where you had to give 100 candies uh, from the previous Halloween update uh, to get Hollow's Blade. A pack was added, which is where you got uh, the Bats effect, uh, the Traveler pet, and Battle Axe. And just like 2015, a new lobby was introduced, which is actually the current MM2 lobby. So overall, this is just a pretty solid update. I would say this is probably like the first modern MM2 event. And for 2017, it was pretty solid, so it comes in at number 8. Number 7 is a fan favorite update that people will probably lose their minds that this isn't higher, and that is Halloween 2020. This update obviously added Scary Mode, which was one of the biggest features ever added into the game. Scary Mode definitely makes me like this update more, uh, just because getting a new mode uh, with prizes in it is really cool. But the actual gameplay of Scary Mode is just whatever, nothing really special about it in my opinion. And then I think the rest of the update was just fine. Most of the knives and guns in this update were just fine. The gollies or whatever in my opinion, except for Hollow Scythe, which is really cool. Uh, and the lobby has a cool theme of being like a scary carnival, uh, but it was way too small in my opinion and like really cramped. So overall, I think it was kind of a bad lobby. What's funny about this update is that everyone hated it when it came out, uh, but now everyone loves it. I never hated it, but I never thought it was great. I would say on paper this update is great, but the execution was just fine. Alright, next up coming in at number 6 is the most hated MO2 event of all time, and that is Halloween 2023. Well, this update had so many flaws, I still think it was a solid update overall. First off, the lobby was really good in my opinion. Some lobbies are either way too small or way too big, and I would say this is the perfect size for a lobby. Next up, the gollies were pretty good. The dark set is solid. Traveler's Axe is pretty cool. And I think Traveler's Gun is great. And the update added a bunch of really cool knives in my opinion, like Ghastly, Dark Knife, Steel, and even the Vines Common is really cool. Obviously, this update had some pretty bad things to it, uh, like coins still being in the game and there being no new map added. But while this update had many flaws, things like the lobby and the weapons made me like this update a little bit more than 2020. Now on to number 5, and there was a huge leap in quality from number 6 to number 5, and number 5 is Halloween 2022. This update added uh, team battle passes, which was a great feature and I hope they bring it back in the future. Having extra items uh, in each battle pass for each team and having two gollies was really cool. This update also had some pretty cool weapons, uh, like Spectre or Vampire, as well as the Bat Golly, which is one of the coolest gollies in the game. This update also added a bunch of cool effects. It added Mineshaft, which is a very good map. And the first bonus round in the game in seven years was added, uh, which was Infection Mode, which is one of my favorite things ever added into the game. So overall, this was a great event. The next four events are all so good, it was pretty hard to rank all of them, but coming in at number four is 2018. All of them two events now have basically been based off this event. This is the first battle pass ever to be added into the game, and there were so many good items in it. The original pumpkin set uh, was added in this battle pass, which is in my opinion the best pumpkin set ever. The zombie and headless emotes were added, which are the only limited time emotes in the game. And this battle pass added a bunch of really cool items, like ghost or toxic, and battle axe too. This event also introduced chromas, with chroma bone blade being added to the box. And Batwing was also available in the shop uh, as the shop golly. This event was incredible and could be higher, uh, but this was before there were uh, Halloween maps, which doesn't help it or anything. And Boneblade is my least favorite golly in the game, which kind of hurts this update a little bit, but this update was still fantastic. 
All right, now on to the top three, and coming in at number three is Halloween 2021. This was the first Halloween update to add a new map, uh, which was Farmhouse, and Farmhouse is one of my favorite maps in the game. I think the lobby from this update is one of the best lobbies of all time. Having it be the normal MM2 lobby, but being destroyed by the alien invasion was a super cool idea. This update also introduced the first ever Evo with a Reaver, and the first Gun Ancient with Harvester, and was also the first MM2 item with a custom trail and sound. And this event also re-added Chromas into the box with Chroma Candle Flame. It's kind of crazy that Candle Flame, Reaver, and Harvester were all in the same event, and there were a lot of other really cool uh, weapons and effects, like Spectral, Phantom, and Wraithfire. This update was incredible, and it comes in at number 3. Next up at number 2 is the current Halloween update, Halloween 2024. This update is absolutely insane. This update added on uh, the new Vampire Mode, which just like Scary Mode, I feel like is cool because of the fact we got a new mode uh, with new prizes in it, but it isn't anything special gameplay-wise. Vampire Mode has a really cool map, and uh, the fact vampires have their own perk is really cool, but it does have some problems. First off, there aren't enough prizes. Once you get every prize, there isn't really a point in playing the mode anymore. Uh, and also the prizes are kind of underwhelming. Villager's Lantern is really cool, uh, but the Candle Toy is the most useless toy of all time. And in Scary Mode, the effect Bat Swarm was added, but this mode added Bat Swarm, which is a little ridiculous. While this mode definitely could have been improved, it's still great to get a new mode though, and the rest of the update was absolutely fantastic. The gollies in this update were really good. Spirit and Soul are maybe the coolest shop golly set ever, and Vampire's Axe is one of my favorite golly slash ancients in the game. This event also had a bunch of great toys, like Villager's Lantern that I said before, and Spellbook is one of the best toys in the game. The lobby for this update was also great. I feel like it's a little bit too small, but the vampire castle theme with red accents is super cool. And speaking of a vampire's castle, vampire's castle is a very good map. Uh, other weapons in this event are great, uh, like Storm and the new Candle Flint Gun are really cool, and Vampiric and Cursed uh, are some of the coolest effects in the game in my opinion. So overall, this update was great, and it comes in at number 2. Alright, and coming in at number 1, which I think is the best Halloween event of all time, is Halloween 2019. This event didn't have as much content as some of the recent Halloween events, but almost every feature or weapon in this update was absolutely incredible. First off, this is in my opinion the best battle pass ever in MM2. The battle pass had the most tiers in a battle pass ever, and the items in the battle pass were great. There were two radios in the battle pass, which were the Candy Radio and Jacko Radio. The Candy Radio kind of sucks, but Jacko Radio is one of my favorite radios in the game. There were two solid effects with Poison and Candies, and Zombie Dog and Vampire Bat are easily the two best square pets in the game. There were also two toys added, uh, which was uh, Zombie Friend and Treat Bucket, with Treat Bucket probably being my favorite toy in the game. And then the weapons in this update were great, especially Witched, which is probably the best Battle Pass Legendary in my opinion. A uh, Ghost Blade is one of my favorite Shop Godlies, and Ghostly is a top 3 pen in my opinion. And then Elderwood Set uh, is my favorite set in the entire game, and the lobby was pretty cool too. This also was the first update where you could get a radio after uh, you get the Ancient, and it was actually Elderwood Radio, uh, which is one of the coolest radios in the game in my opinion. And this update also added one of my favorite features ever in MM2, which was Skelly's Daily Challenge. Challenges. Skelly's Daily Challenges were random challenges or missions uh, that you had to do uh, to get Battle Pass tiers. This was sadly removed after 2020, but I really hope it comes back maybe uh, even for boxes. So while the Septic didn't have a bunch of features in it, uh, it had the best uh, Battle Pass, the best Godlies, a great box, and all the features were great, so it comes in at number one. So yeah, that is me ranking every Halloween event ever in MM2. Tell me in the comments what you think the best uh, Halloween event was. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to all troll the outro. Peace.